Okay. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God. Blessed be the name of the living God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I will soon start. Um, just uh, wait for a few minutes for to see who comes in. Um, I like to talk to people, not talk to myself. <laughs> okay, uh, but uh, in any case, I will uh, start as soon as um, I'm fully, 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 fully ready. In the meantime, uh, it's um, it the seven. 837 okay hallelujah okay i don't know um should i uh, don't know let's see what to look at me see perhaps i should just do that uh Let me do that again. 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 Let Yes, thank you, Lord. Okay, must be there. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, sister, see how are you? Welcome. Um, how are you doing? All right, God bless you. Um, I'm, 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 I'm starting in a few, well, just a minute. It's going to be more than that. Let me just get something I... Okay, right back 
to the saddle, back to the saddle, yes. Um, right, this is um, um, City, well, the Sentinel, I call it the Sentinel, that is the, the media arm of City Gate Ministries International, um, I'm Reverend Cyril Nukere. Um, so I will say good evening to you, good evening, uh, if that applies, good morning, if that's your case, and uh, good afternoon, or good night, whatever it is, for you, God be with your day or evening or night, um, or morning, uh, like, okay, thank you for joining Okay, so um, I uh, will really be God bless. Thank you. Yeah, good. Yes, uh, God bless you. Um, I I want to or this 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 week or today's um, live broadcast is dedicated to the the killing uh, the shootings um, that happened in New Zealand, Christchurch, New Zealand, as well as in um, the killings that happened in Nigeria, uh, perhaps uh, Southern Kaduna, and other places, in fact, across Nigeria, uh, killing, there's a lot of killing happening. Uh, if it's not politically motivated, it is uh, uh, religiously motivated, or just out of jealousy, out of poor emotional control. Uh, people just kill anyhow. Um, people kill professionally, people kill for different reasons. So I just want us to kind of collectively reflect um, uh, and uh, think about what is happening in our world and actually interrogate and ask um, what is behind this? What is behind it? The, uh, the title that I've given this evening's broadcast is Unmasking the the face of evil or masking the face of evil so uh, i just pray that um, the people who um, who have believed um, families who are mourning or traumatized as a result of uh, loss of needless loss of loved ones uh, in, in uh, uh, christ church new zealand um, in uh, in um, Southern Canada in Nigeria and other places in Nigeria, and uh, even the stabbings and uh, among the young people in in UK uh, and some other places, you know, killing by uh, security agents and police in in America and, and all 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 these needless killing. Uh, human blood is human blood, and human lives uh, should be sacred. Okay, so but if we see this of gratuitous bloodletting um, across the cities and nations, uh, we should pause and ask, is this normal? What is behind this? Okay, but uh, just in you know, order not to diffuse focus, uh, we use the recent killing in, uh, in New Zealand um, as a point of uh, uh, well, focus. Yeah, in the sense that I uh, will use that we can actually uh, extrapolate and, 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 and uh, transpose the, uh, the, the same questions, the same issues we are looking at here uh, to search other kinds of killing, um, even mob, mob lynching and all that that happens uh, all over the world. All right. The Bible describes those that don't believe in God as foolish fools. It says the fool says in his heart. They may not have said it verbally and openly, but in their heart, they have these uh, philosophical construct that excludes God, the existence of God. They say there's no God in their heart. And the Bible calls them fools. Because they, in the, they, in the light of their abundance, they ample evidence and science and 
an, an autograph of God upon creation, nature, human heart, human conscience, and so on and so forth. It takes a lot to say there is no designer, there's no intelligent designer behind all the things we see, the miracle of nature, the wonders of creation, and, and so on and so forth. Um, it, it takes some kind of mind-bending uh, mental gymnastics to come up with a theory that um, excludes and precludes God in what you see around us, uh, the wonders of creation. So yeah, so they say we call them fools. But the flip side of that fully, if you like, and ignorance is the denial that there is an actual personality known as the devil, says Satan. Okay? Some people see Satan or the devil as uh, a, a figment of some uh, creative minds, uh, some kind of creation of some, some fertile brains, you know, uh, they come up with that character. You know. Some people see, see it as just a mere uh, personification of something that we taste we don't like in the form of evil or badness. So we see the devil. Uh, they deny the existence of a personality, real personality called the devil. And of course, some artists, you know, have uh, come off, given us a caricaturized uh, uh, picture, image of uh, the devil as a comical figure with, you know, in the, uh, some kind of, uh, um, uh, is it, whatever the title wear, <laughs> you know, uh, with two horns and a tail holding a pitchfork. Now, that picture is for storybooks, you know, uh, and children entertainment and all that. The truth is that Satan, the devil, is a real, though it's real, though invisible, wicked and malevolent spirit. The Bible describes him in many terms, like the father of lies, the father of lies, the old serpent, the accuser, uh, <clears throat> the, the adversary, among other Appellations, other, other, other names. Satan is the force and the inspirer, the inspiration behind every evil action, every perversion, and every trauma uh, suffered in the world. His sole mission, the Bible tells us in John 10 10, is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I said before, he's a spirit. And his main strategy for achieving the above agenda is through lying and deception. You see, he does not have power to do anything except he goes through some human agency. He only inflicts havoc, destruction, and death, and afflicts through the instrumentality of humans. Like a song I, I, I used to sing, you know, when I was a, when I became a, a new believer, says Satan deceives to destroy. He deceives to destroy. So when he deceives, when he is the father of lies, ten lies, people buy into these lies then they are captured in their mind. As the Bible says, you know, uh, the, whereby they are able to, or they, they are uh, inspired or uh, in, what word, compared, that's the right word, to do according to his bidding. Because it's captured in their imagination. That's the way it works. 
Now he can only carry, as I said before, he can only carry out his evil agenda through human agency, whether the these agents know it or not, whether they are willing or not. But once you bought a lie, then the person becomes a victim. So if anyone is in doubt as to whether the devil exists, they should reflect on what happened in New Zealand, as an example, or what, what, what's happening in Nigeria, to the point that almost we are sort of ignored and hardened, you know, uh, no longer sensitive to the killings that go on in their country. And because it does not matter to the people in power, it does not matter to the political elite, uh, it, it does not matter even to the citizens. I mean, we shout and, and exclaim and and and, and uh, just wonder about it, and and then we forget to the next episode. This next uh, um, mass kids occur. Then again, we shout, we condemn, and then it happens again and again. Because of that, the people outside the world they don't even think about what's, what's happening in Nigeria. Yeah, it's good that the world is sh ra has rallied around you know to collectively de deplore and and and, and uh, condemn and and, and um, express uh, condolences to the the the, uh, the, 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 the victims and the, and the uh, casualties and the uh, believed in, in, in New Zealand. Yeah, uh, and and I, 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 this program we we join the family of um, of um, the human family to also uh, just pray for uh, the, the those who are recovering in the hospital, pray for the families that are just you know traumatized by this incident. And, and and question what is what is behind all this sense. So if, if anybody is, is in doubt as whether there's a devil, they should look at that. There you see the color of the devil. There you see the nature of the devil. In that killing, you see the character of the diabolic personality. Oh, well. As a tautology, actually, devil. Okay, um, they, there you see the the kind of things he he does, his his works. Because it's a spirit, we can we don't see him, but you can see his 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 handprints in the wreckage of human lives. No, that's it's only someone filled with the devil that can carry out this dastardly act deliberately, cold-bloodedly, and just consciously. Every step that that man took was conscious, was deliberate, was thought through, and of course recorded. It's interesting that um, I, I read uh, the, the, the news they say that uh, the, there was a, a judge gave out that, that is, the face of that man should not be shown in order not to uh, to to, had a, to to allow him fair trial. All right, this so so the, the face, the image is kind of pixelated. Um, so that it's not um, it's, it's not shown. Okay, that, that, that's I understand that and it makes sense. But in fact, there's no even no need even looking at the face because when you see the face, the face of these people who have carried out this who, who carried out this this uh, um, massacre, there's nothing on his face that showed that he could do such a thing. There is nothing on his face. He's not written murder, mass murder on his face. There's nothing on his face, on his physical physical appearance, his his the color of his skin, his height, his weight, whether he's handsome or not. There's nothing about his physiology that could give us 
an indication that such a person could do such thing. So, evil then is not something you can attribute to somebody's color, somebody's race, somebody's gender, somebody's um, height or weight, somebody's education. If we saw, if we saw the face, if we saw the face of this man, it would be like just somebody like you know, be a neighbor, somebody you know, a, a, a university, you know, mate, classmate, or a colleague, a work colleague. So what's happening? Whatever moved this man to do what he did. to do with how to do with his internal dialogue his thought processes what's going on on the inside what philosophy what ideology what thoughts uh school of thought what system of thought that he has embraced what this ideology or whatever that he has embraced that you know has shaped him Josh, shaped the, his internal landscape and enabled him giving him the justification to do what he did and do it without remorse did it in one mosque, drove to another mosque to do the same thing. Let me, let's, let, let, me, let, let me read a couple of uh, scriptures here. Uh, first of all, let me go to First Timothy chapter four. First Timothy four. I read from verse one. It says, "Now the Spirit expressly says that in the later times, the last days, some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits." No, I pause there. Let me go to. I'll come back here. Let me just for the purpose of. Um, Logical sequencing. Let me go to uh, Second Peter, Second Timothy three, and I read that, and I'll come back here. But you know, it, it, yeah, just the sequence is right. Second Peter three, from one say, but know this that in the last days, perilous times will come. I've, I've used this scripture before in another uh, broadcast, you know, leading to something else. But it says that in the last days, you know, it said, know this. Just be aware of this. Don't be ignorant of this. That in the last days, and the Bible tells us that in the last days, perilous, dangerous, crazy times will come. It will. And we're seeing it. For men, human beings, will be lovers of themselves. Lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal. It's brutal. Going there with, 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 with automatic rifle to shoot down innocent and helpless of suspecting uh, uh, worshippers in, in, in a mosque is, 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 I mean, brutality, brutal. Dispersers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but then is power. Okay, for, say for such people, turn away. Yeah, turn away from such people. Okay, Let, then, then let's link that. So we we'll talk about how the characteristics of uh, the last days. You know, the, the, what what people will be like. You know, uh, okay. A lot of things said here. Let's link uh, it back to festivals where we're reading for. It says now the spirit expressly it says clearly you know without equivocation it says that in the later times like this 
Some, thank God it's not all, some will depart, some will stray away, some will move away, some will drift away from the faith, the faith, the faith, what faith is talking about? The faith that's rooted and anchored in the Lordship of Jesus Christ as his Messianic uh, uh, road, walk on earth, okay? They, they shall depart from it. Give it. They will give heed. They will give attention to They will listen. They will they will give heed to deceiving spirits. So they will listen and embrace the teachings of deceiving spirits, the doctrines, the ideologies, the philosophies of deceiving spirits. Spirits that I thought that the devil deceives to destroy. That is the way he kills things and destroys is through deception. So the deceiving spirits release, and and and, and these people they would depart from faith by listening to these deceiving spirits and doctrines, doctrines means teachings of demons. Now I've never been in a in a, a, a course, a class, or never seen a, or even a picture where demons are there teaching students, or spirits are there teaching students. Okay. It's human beings that teach. Yeah, on earth here. These humans, they'll be speaking lies and hypocrisy. Having their own conscience seared. With a hot iron. So, the humans that teach, these teachers that these people are receiving, they, they come through human vessels, human agency. But the Bible tells us here that they are speaking right from the, they are, they are taking their teaching from the curriculum, the syllabus of, of, of hell, of devils, of demons. You know when we talk about somebody being radicalized, you know, to the point of Planting, putting bomb on themselves and blowing themselves up and, and killing people or killing people for another kind of their faith that happens in the first part of the world. Or somebody just, you know, just going and shooting people like in the mosque we, we, uh, that we saw the, the other day. It's as a result of the things they've received, they believed, they've taken on. In the case of New Zealand, somebody who have who have received and imbibed some extreme ex, extremist ideology that that seem to justify and excuse and and, and and see see no moral conflict and contradiction to pick up rifles and cold blood deadly. And systematically go and mow down lives. Something has happened to human beings. Something has happened to human beings. So that that person was inspired, was motivated, and impelled by the force of demonic ideology. So some people is by the demonic. The force the, the, uh, of, 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 of demonic religion. Because any religion that says you should go and kill another person because they don't believe in your religion, that religion, that, uh, that, 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 that uh, 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 thought, is, is, it did not come from God. It did not come from God. Whether you call yourself a Muslim, call yourself a Christian, call yourself a Hindu, call yourself a Buddhist, call yourself whatever you call yourself, that will give you the right to go and kill another person because they, they, they look different, they worship differently, they, 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 they are, you know, they, they belong to different polit a political persuasion. That thought, that system of thought was taken from the handbook of Satan. The Bible says, no murderer has eternal life. No murderer has eternal life in him. It says, God is love. Anyone that does not love, does not know God, stop wasting your time. 
It also tells me that um, everybody is theological. Yes. Everybody, whether you're an atheist or an agnostics or whatever you call yourself, everybody is theological. There is a theology that pushes that pushes one, that inspires one to do what they do. That theology might be the theology that subscribes to the idea that there's no God. So if there's no God, then you are the God of yourself. Right? You can do anything. There's no nobody to account to. That theology might be you know different kinds. I mean you know any any one I mean any one that was in, uh, uh, in different parts of the world. Yeah, you know, some parts of the world where they used to kill twins. Um, yeah, it was based on I don't some kind of ideology or. Uh, you just believe that twins they are an aberration freak of nature so they should be killed until uh, the people embrace a higher truth that twins are gifts from god today we have twins and we celebrate you know international day of twins today thank god so of course we'll not be alive today i'm not into it but anyway you know what i mean The person that went and killed these Muslims was my claim not to be religious, but he has a, a system of thought that made it okay, that convinced him that it's okay to do what he did. And he did it boldly, brought daylight, you know, recorded it. And even when the, he, the, the, the news that I read, he said that he did not even deny, not even apply for his name to be uh, not to be revealed. Yeah. If you're looking for the color of the devil, if you're looking at for how the devil looks, how the devil acts, you know, what, what, what are the, what is the character or what are the characteristics of the devil? You see an example. Anyway, as I said before, yeah, we use that news as a as a case in point to 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 look look at the evil I no eyeball to eyeball, look at it and say no, this cannot this that is the devil that cannot be God. Let's 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 establish that dichotomy right there. So, uh, 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 but then by extension, yes, what is happening in Nigeria for whatever reason? This an election, and, and, and about 40 people at least lost their lives. Over what? That's a, 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 I read about a PhD holder who was shot, shot you know, and, and, and the family, the father, just, you no, know, father and the wife, they were not lamenting. Just, just, just wasted like that. The burden of the family over politics is the work of the devil. And also, let's also so some people yes, some people carry gun or knife and kill in the name of whoever. Some people don't kill, but they celebrate and rejoice. I heard that some people were well, some parts of the world are rejoicing over this killing. In, in uh, um, the, the shooting in, in New Zealand, <laughs> they are rejoicing. Ah, I don't know what to say. Whatever made them feel that it's okay to be happy, to rejoice that people were mowed down, you know, brought daylight, killed people who did not do anything, or no, just go and worship, and did not have to. Whatever made those people who did not, yes, they didn't carry the gun, but they are rejoicing about it, they clapping, they are rejoicing about it. 
in the same philosophy. They are of the they are of the devil. Again, they are they, that 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 spirit has also processed them because they had opportunity and 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 they are sufficiently inspired. They will do the same thing. So as long as God is concerned, they are classed as not just those. Bible talk about not just those who do the same, but those who take pleasure in those that do the you know do that, 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 those sins. So they are together. And those who know that this is happening and they keep quiet. What is happening in Nigeria? What happened in the, in the, on the streets of in the, the, uh, on the streets of London or UK? Happening in, in uh, wherever it's happening, the killings and the particularly the world leaders, those even those who the killings and persecution of oil, the the the, the ethnic and religious minority groups under their noses. They are, they are leaders and it's happening under their own nose and they kept quiet and pretend that all is well. And those people who, for the purpose of economic uh, benefit, you know, they don't condemn what they should condemn. World leaders, you are part of it. You, you are, your hands are stained with blood. What you call profit is not profit. It is blood stained. And you will be back out. Let me, let, let me just uh, quickly... Two things that come to my from Mr. Randolph. Two things. One is this. <laughs> okay, before I go there. Oh Lord, no one needs to be too long. But um I, I, I want to just show you something. The power of thought. Yes, yes, I like, I like it. Yeah, the two things. First of all, is if we know that that an innocent looking man, a normal person who will take care of their dog and their cats. And maybe he's married with their kids, will go and do such thing, you know, that, that will stun the world. Because as I said before, if it was written on his head that this man's a murderer, they, they would have arrested him before he got there. There's nothing that doesn't show on the face that this person is a mass killer. If there was any any inclination that he could do that, that person would have been stopped. People that blow themselves up and, and, and kill and snap at innocent people, they would have been stopped if there was any way of discerning that they are capable of doing this. But it's the thoughts. And, you know, well, let's go with the thoughts. Well, you know, we don't know what anyone is thinking. But I want to say, for the purpose of, in case you do, so someone does not know that they are being used, I want to show you how these thoughts can get hold of people, yeah, and get them to do what they would not, the what they wouldn't have ordinarily do. We use Judas as, a, as an example. Let, let me read this quickly. Uh, well, let me see it. Yes, in John thirteen two. You know, that's the uh, way we talk about uh, before you, uh, when you just wash the disciples' feet. It says, the evening meal was in progress at a certain. If I let me read it from this version here. It, says, it was now just before the Passover feast, and Jesus knew that his hour has come to leave this world and to return to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the very end. The evening meal was on the way and the devil had already put it into the heart of Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to, to betray Jesus. So the devil put it, suggested it to, to Judas, put a thought in Judas' mind to betray Jesus. This one of the disciples. Number four in, in hierarchy, if, 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 if we say, if we might say so. One of the trusted friends, so one of the people that went to preach in the name of Jesus and saw them cast out and it came out, you know, and giving test, it came back giving testimony. Five miracles were done in the name of Jesus. One of the people that saw what, you know, Jesus, you know, hear Jesus teachings and saw his, his uh, deeds. The devil, the devil sowed a thought into his heart to betray Jesus. You know, he didn't cast it out. Yeah, he entertained it. 
and so on and so forth. Then you now go to the I just read from John chapter 13, verse 2. Now Luke chapter 22, verse 3. Now they were in the in the um this is the scene of the Last Supper. It says Luke uh, 22. I read from verse 2. It says, And the chief priests and the scribes were looking for a way to put Jesus to death, for they feared the people. Verse 3. Then Satan, see, see that? The, the last verse read said that, um, that, 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 that Satan, that the, that the devil had, put, had already put it into the heart of Judas to betray Jesus. Now here we see that Satan, the name of that devil, Satan, Entered Judas Iscariot, who was one of the twelve. And Judas went to discuss the chief priests and temple officers how he might betray Jesus. So you see, first you see the thought that Satan you know, projected to him. He did not resist it. You no, know? he identified with it. Much of those, that thought, and got a point where, like, when a, a thought is like an egg. When the egg, chicken, chicken egg hatches, the chicken it will produce. It's a serpent egg. Uh, it's a serpent egg. It will produce serpent. So when the thought inspired by Satan, the seed of Satan you know, matures and gives birth and all hatches, you know, it's Satan, the capital S. And Satan possessed Judas and um, Enabled him, anointed him, you know, in the court to carry out the betrayal, in emboldening him to do it. It reminds me of um, what's the name? Uh, Othello, I think, Othello, uh, uh, one of the characters, this, this Demona, if I remember the name, the wife of, I'm listening to now. Anyway, one of those people, let me not, let me not uh, mess myself. Who, or is it Macbeth? Lady Macbeth, I have which one it was. Who actually invoked the, 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 the powers of hell to enable them to, to, to kill, basically. Um, yeah, that's how it works. So what does that mean for us? To for us, it means for that we should be careful. We should examine whatever system of thought we are embracing, we are adopting, either religion or ideology or whatever it is. We should examine it, see it, look at it, and see the what it can lead to. Just as if if I believe, if I accept this this belief, this political belief, religious belief. I don't know belief, cultural belief. If I believe this, if I take this upon and base my life on it, I, what can it lead to? What end will I see? And does that end look like God, smell like God, feel like God, or does it look like, smell like, feel like the devil? You see, after all, the, 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 I mean, none of us is a free thinker. When we say oh, we are free thinkers, it's a lie. None of us, we, you see, we, we are tethered either to God or to, or to, or to them ultimately. We, we, are, we, are, we can't say, I can't think. no, no, you can't, no. Nature approaches vacuum. If, if God is not holding us, if we're not you know, on, on, on that God's canopy, we're on devil's canopy. Because you see, we are humans. We the, the, we are made in the image of God. You know, we are meant to function, energized by God's power, His Spirit, by His life, and His wisdom. But if we disconnect from Him and we plug our life into something else, you know, we run on a force, you know, on a, count, a, a counterfeit fuel, and the engine will not, the engine will will, will, will knock, will shipwreck. We will do things that we wonder. How, man, how, how, man, how do we manage to do this? What possessed us to do this? Examine your thoughts. Examine what goes on in your mind. And examine what, what doctrine, what belief you, you, you have. But they have consequences. Lastly, lastly, 
um, just to say, you know, to wrap up now. <laughs> the devil, yes, we see his work. We see the kind of devastation he can uh, uh, wreck, you know. Uh, uh, we, we, we see the kind of pain, tears, trouble, agony he can inflict upon the world and afflict people with. But he's not omnipotent. He does not have the final say. He's not omniscient. He's not omnivoyant. He doesn't see everything. He's not omnipresent. He's limited. The devil is not opposite, the opposite of God. God has no opposite. You know, the Chinese talk about yin and yang, the devil God. No, no. God is sovereign. God is ultimate. God is creator. The devil is a creation. Self perverted creation. What creature? So no matter no, no matter how wicked, you know, how 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 horrible his work of her, or no matter the kind of horror he could unleash on humanity, God has the power to reverse it. His deeds are far limited, and ultimately his works and their impact on our world will be reversed. And defeated. First John three nine says, "For this cause, for the, you know, the Son of God was sent or came to destroy the works of the devil. Every the tears will be wiped off as we trust in God. He promised that He wipe away all tears." He will turn sadness to joy as, as we come to him and believe in him. Because we are dealing with someone who uh, uh, is naturally, I mean, naturally more powerful, more experienced, more cunning, more devious than us. Evil, evil, more evil than we can imagine. Wicked spirit. That the, the only way we can resist him is to pitch our tent under God's covering through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the ultimate victory. Ultimate victor. And faith in him is the ultimate victory against the devil and all his works. And those that are born today those that are wondering and are questioning why, why, Lord, yes, direct your mourning and your pride and your pain to God. He will soon cross Satan under your feet. Whether that comes in the name of ideology, religion, politics, whatever it is, culture, tradition, policies, the God of peace is about to crush Satan and all his manifestations under your feet. And you will assure me. I will I, I, I pray for peace to those people suffering in New Zealand. Peace for those people suffering in Nigeria. Peace for the people suffering in the streets of the UK, in America, wherever people, wherever, in Pakistan and other places where people have been in prison for their faith and killed. Remember, blood is blood. No blood is more sacred than the other. So I want us to condemn what's happening, what happened over there. Please let leaders in the Pakistan, let leaders in Iraq, let leaders in, in, in Nigeria, let leaders in other places, South Africa, condemn the killing or what are they killing of the innocent on our whatever name. God bless you. Bye-bye. Leave it here. Thank you for joining me. And please pray for those people. Uh, Oh, oh, a pastor, uh, bless, <laughs> a blessed one of life. God bless you, Pastor Goodley. God bless you. John Wood, God bless, God bless you. Ah, my brother Alex, good evening. How are you? Yes, thank you very much. God bless, God bless you. 
Ah, au mieux de nos vies, God bless. On a une carte, ok, les God bless you. C'est pas ici. Ou non, ma God bless you. Ou non, ma God bless. Thank you. Please share this uh, to anyone that share it to. And let, let, let it bring comfort to those who are suffering and those who are questioning. God bless you. Bye bye.